Okay, this tutorial is going to be about PowerPoint templates and we are on the initial screen where you choose what kind of presentation you want to create and over here are templates that PowerPoint provides for you and you can choose from any of those over here on the left is a listing of the different uh, presentations that I've recently worked with but up here uh, you've got two tabs you've got featured and you've got personal tab and these are templates that uh, I have created this one here is a uh, it's based on the standard template which is a white background and uh, black fonts so anything that you create with that will have that uh, standard setup for colors and then I wanted one that was black background so I created a template for that so what I'm gonna do is show you how you create your own custom templates that you can use and uh, the purpose for using templates is basically if you tend to create a lot of presentations maybe for your job and they've provided you a logo that they want on every slide and they want a certain color background they want a certain layout that's the perfect situation for you to create a template that you can use as a starting point and then go from there so uh, that's what this tutorial is going to teach you how to do basically okay I've created a new presentation from the default and what I want to do is start by going to view and then go over here to slide master and then go over here and scroll up and notice this slide here at the top that's larger wider than all of these others this is the slide master for all of these other slide masters and these other slide masters are the various layouts that are available so you can make changes to uh, any one of these layouts individually but if you want to make changes that will affect all of them as I do then you would want to go up here and click on this wider one and then what I want to do is I want to set this entire set of slide masters to be black so I'll go over here and I will right click on the background and select format background and that opens up this on the side over here and I need to go over here to color and select black and now if you go over here you'll see that all slides have a black background now and of course because we set the background to black and the default text color is black we need to change the default text color to something other than black if you want to be able to see it so I'm gonna go up here I'll start by selecting this top and then go up here click on home and then come over here to the text color and select the color that I want as you can see as I move over the various colors it will show you what that will look like on the slide I'm gonna go ahead and set this one to kind of a medium blue color and now I'm going to select this bottom placeholder same thing go up here to home and go over here to the color and in this case I want to make it white by default so now that I've done that any of these layouts that I click on the uh, color scheme that I set in this top one is the same for any of these layout slides so now that I've got my uh, slide masters set to the colors that I wish I can click on slide master and then come over here to close master view 
and now if I were to say I want to insert something and I go over here to insert new slide you'll notice that all of these possible layouts are all black background with the uh, font color being whatever I set it to so now what you want to do is let's go back here I don't want to actually add a slide we've just got this one slide now and uh, what we want to do uh, you could also set up a um, theme or any other things about this that you want. If you wanted a uh, logo, for example, you could set that in the slide master view. And when you get it all configured the way you want it to be for your template, you simply go up here to File, Save As and you select where you want to save it i'm going to go with uh, this one right here published videos powerpoint and i'm going to put it there so i will select that now what i want to do is i want to select i can select the various types here and i want to find the one that says template Okay, there's one that says template. This is the current version of PowerPoint and there's another one that if you wanted to save it in an earlier version, there's a couple of different choices, but I would go with this one right here. And then you just give it a name, whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna overwrite this one. Yes, I want to overwrite it. All right, so now, if I were to get out of PowerPoint, go back into PowerPoint, and now, this is where I choose the template that I want, and it'll be listed in the Personal tab. And there it is. So I click on that, and it pops it up, and then I click on Create, and it creates me a new PowerPoint presentation based on the selected template that I chose. And as you can see, it's a black background. And if I were to go in and say insert new slide, they're all black just as I had indicated. And let's click on this one. And as you can see, just as I set up in that uh, template, a blue font for the title and a white font for this uh, content box here. So that's, it's pretty simple it's how you create a template. So if you are working, uh, for example, for, you know, a half a dozen different clients, you can set up a template for each client so that you don't have to do all that configuration every time. You just pick the appropriate template and build your presentation for that client based on the template. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.